Dang, ladies. Check out that new shed. And that old shrub that I need to yank out. <laughs> You okay? You all right? Morning, girls. Are you having cereal on the floor? Can you bring uh, my red bike? You want me to bring your red bike to the campground? Okay. And Brandon, you want to show people how that that thing right there is not actually a bedpan and it's a gymnastics machine? Let's see it. Here we go. Woo! I cannot do that. You got Play-Doh, Isla? Some really good fan who loves you sent you a broom. Why are you hiding? You don't like the camera any more than Didge? Rhiannon, don't rack Isla's broom. And watch out for Onyx's fishing stuff. He's getting ready for a big weekend. As I mentioned before in a recent video, feel free to send us some stuff. The address is in the description, but I just can't possibly respond to all of it and I apologize for that. And that goes for the same for the messages and the emails and everything else I get. Thank you to the fans so much but I can't possibly take the time to respond to all of them. I'd be going non-stop on that. Yeah, I can talk. Yeah, so American Public Media actually surveyed a thousand people all the way across the country and what they found was that Americans, actually 85% of Americans believe and understand that water plays a very critical role in their lives. But what they also found is that most people don't actually understand what it means to have clean water and how we control that and how water is affected by certain practices and so when when we dug deeper into it i'm going to be handing off all the long mo lawn lawn mowing responsibilities to onyx this summer and he's driven the zero turn before but our grass just kind of reached the point where it actually needs to be mowed because we live in minnesota and i've only mowed one time this year so far so i'm going to run through a a crash course so he remembers exactly what he's doing and how to stay safe and then I'm going to cut him loose because he needs to mow. You got that? Yep. Get this lawn mowed, boy. Don't do anything stupid. I won't. You know the safety procedures and the rules. Yep. Oh, here, let's scoot your seat forward. Not a problem. And no, we did not use a jumper wire under the seat. See all these dandelions? I hate them. And I know exactly how to obliterate them. Dang. Look at that new LP tank and that old pontoon. There she is, the dandelion killer. I gotta hook this to the old mower and then this baby's ready to rock. Hey, our cardboard box delivery showed up. I'm trying to drink less energy drinks and hopefully it's gonna be a long hot summer so we, we, we ordered some water. Just a little bit, get us through for the time being. Look at that. Looks a little empty without logos, but it doesn't stand out as like as much of a sore thumb as I thought it would. Now we gotta order the logos. Yeah, but look at, so we got a, we have a, a used hood for sale. Boy, I wish I'd have caught that on camera. It was like a, it was like a cold start video. Very impressed, oh, there we go. What happened to this thing? I'm just gonna check the oil. Just, you know, in case it might be low for some reason. Look at that stuff hanging in the air. I might have to call the EPA. The dipstick says giver. Dad's loading the truck. Onyx mowing lawn. Come on, camera. Pick it up there, what's the deal? There. I think he's loading the truck. There we go. Onyx mowing lawn. All kinds of fun stuff happening. Look at that shiny hood. Oh, oh, oh. Well, there we go. It's a little bit concerning, but I don't want dandelions in my lawn. That is so satisfying. Are you done, Onyx? Yeah. Lawn's all finished. I don't know how you did that twice as fast as I ever have. I might have to inspect it a bit later. How's Anna's, uh, how's her little thing doing there? We don't know what she got in a fight with, but she's healing up. Yeah. She doesn't seem to mind. She was all tough about it. The tank is clean, the filters are clean, the nozzles are good. 
going to throw a little grease at this lawnmower. This thing clearly needs a little bit of attention. All right, the first thing we got here is a set of spindles up front that probably haven't seen grease since about 1998. So for that, I'm going to do what every good mechanic would do, and I'm going to use this WD-40 Specialist Superior Performance True Multi-Purpose Grease. Oh look, more grease zerks. Now for anybody who's wondering, John Deere actually recommends that you grease both the spindles and the mower deck more than once every 20 years, but I mean, we don't need to get into the finer details. The other thing I got here, the next thing, is I'm going to use this WD-40 Specialist Electrical Contact Cleaner Spray on the battery, the starter, all the connections on here. You can use this stuff on anything, including circuit boards and precision instruments. Doesn't leave a film. It's good stuff. Also comes with the handy dandy like spray it this way or, or, or spray it or spray it this way. I'm gonna give that a chance to dry and then I'm gonna put some corrosion inhibitor on there. As everybody knows around this farm, we like to take care of our electrical connections because we don't like it when machines don't start, okay? And that doesn't happen often around here. So, so we're taking care of like the connections and the batteries and because we don't want to run into an issue where we're gonna need a battery charger once in a while. A little air on there to help it dry and clean it up. Next step, WD-40 Specialist Long-Term Corrosion Inhibitor. Keep those terminals clean for a long, long time. <laughs> it's like a brand new machine. This baby is ready for the next nice day when we don't have a 30 mile an hour wind going on out there. And then we'll get rid of our dandelions. Little 2,4-D smokes them all. You guys want to know a fun fact here? And this is serious. I'm, I'm dead serious about this. Farmers Business Network, for which most of you know I am a member of and a big supporter of, and we got 95% of our ag chemicals from them last December and saved a lot of money. My account, so my regional guy, my regional rep called me a few days ago and said, hey, just to let you know, you've got an almost $500 credit on your account. Okay, what, what's that for? Because one of these chemicals, I haven't logged into the account yet to see which one it is, but one of these chemicals that I bought through FBN, the price on it actually went down and FBN didn't have to pay as much for it as what they thought they were going to have to, and they passed that savings on to me. Now, I don't know how many of the farmers out there, if that's the way your supplier works, when the price goes down, they credit your account because you paid too much for it, but I don't work with many suppliers that do that. I did not know FBN did that. Pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. So I got 500 bucks back already off the money that I saved from buying through them. If anybody's interested in becoming a member themselves, use me as a reference. There's a link in the description and you can save yourself $100 on a membership. I would at least check into it. Contact your local rep. But remember, if you want to save the 100 bucks and you do sign up, you got to mention me. But talk to your rep. See how they can help you. They don't just sell seed and chemicals. The transparency they offer, uh, the health insurance, the marketing, the hedging, that kind of stuff. Check into it, man. They offer a lot right now. I'm being told the next thing I need to do is run to the office in the house and check the most recent video that Becky just finished editing. But first, I want to check the fans on the bean bins. Make sure they're running right. We've got those going just to push some air through the beans right now. Dry them down just a hair more. Hi, Rhiannon. What are you doing? 
I'm um, nothing. Hanging out with Anna? What Are you bored? Tree? They're like little worms. Little worms? Oh, well, let's check it out. Oh, those are just the seeds. Kind of crazy, huh? Video's all good. That's going to be uploaded. And we got a package of go kart parts in the mail. I love getting race car stuff in the mail. I'll head out soon and show you guys what the beans and corn are looking like around here, but first, I got a conference call. Could be a long one. It's important. Mighty. Mighty important. So is that something that you guys are looking at doing immediately? Or within the next year or two? Hey, the sun came out. Stayed windy, but the sun is out. A little dark off to the east, but I don't, I don't care about that now. That's gone. Let's head to the fields and I'll show you guys what our crops look like before Randy gets here to do an off the, uh, off, off the husk episode. You coming with Anna? She always does. Check it out. We've got soybeans. Nothing of our soybeans, none of our soybeans got damaged from frost at all. We did have some freezing temps go through a few nights ago, but there were no soybeans up at the time. Everything's good when it comes to freezing temps. Having soybeans up is a little bit scary, but uh, Everything looking really good so far. Soybeans are, are looking great. We could actually use a little bit of rain. There is some forecasted for later this week. It would be excellent to get some because we haven't really had much measurable rain. Really no measurable precip since middle of winter. So we could use some. We're, we're starting to get dry. Cool beans. <laughs> Corn. We got corn. This stuff out here was really lucky because it was small enough when the freezing weather came through, the freezing temps. None of this has any damage on it. We do have some corn that got a little bit of damage, but it didn't, I don't even think it'll really set it back. It twisted up a couple of leaves. Um, corn is not such a big risk, not nearly as big a risk because the growing point is below the soil. And so freezing temps overnight for a little bit, even if it does freeze, whether it's an inch or two tall, the growing points below the soil, it'll catch up, it'll be fine. I would much rather have my corn in earlier and let the stuff freeze than just start planting now. So um, we're, we're sitting pretty, man. All we need is the heat that we've gotten this week and pretty soon we're gonna need a rain. We're not too dry yet, but, but pretty soon. Otherwise, man, this has been one of the best springs so far. Um, other than the cold, we're good. We're golden. We're beautiful. All good things. <coughs> hey, by the way, class of 2020 right there, that's our niece Aurora. For those who have followed closely, that is our niece who has lived with us now for several years. She officially graduated high school yesterday. And Aurora, I'm going to do the old guy thing, like the super lame thing definitely not the lit thing and I'm gonna just let you know that we are extremely proud of you and we love you very much and congratulations on graduating high school I did that once one last thing before I start tinkering around here in the shop while I wait for Randy to show up for an episode of off the husk um, last year last summer myself and farm focused which is my apparel company I go through we worked with farmer veteran coalition what that group does is help U.S. veterans who want to be involved in farming, maybe start some sort of a farm business, helps them get into it. They're doing a huge push right now to raise funds for their fellowship program where they actually help veterans who have a business model and a business plan and want to get into it. They help them make a purchase that will ultimately help their business and, uh, and they are raising money for that. I personally know a guy who got a Kubota tractor out of that deal and and that was through the through farmer veteran coalition He's a veteran of the US here, and they helped him uh, get that tractor and he, Man his business as far as I know is going really great from from what I hear of it, but uh, They are doing a big push if you're interested in helping you can go to farmvetco.com um, We Becky will put a link down below in the description with that I'm gonna kick it off by saying Becky and I are going to donate $1,000 right up front, right off the bat. We are going to write a check to Farmer Veteran Coalition for 1000 bucks, and we're going to kick that off. And uh, they actually had 450 applicants this year, 450 U.S. veterans who applied for this thing. 
they only have enough funding to give that to, to a very, very small portion of them. And so they want to push and help out as many U.S. veterans as they can. So uh, we're throwing in a thousand bucks if you guys want to donate whatever, a, a dollar, I, I'm sure they'd take it. So check out Farmer Veteran Coalition, links down below. Let's get those guys, uh, let's help those guys out. Let's get some, uh, some farm started here through the, the hard work of the veterans of this country. I'm gonna give you a fuel line that'll hold an extra gallon of gas. We'll shave a half inch off you and shape you like a bullet. Days of thunder, anybody? Delmer, Randy's coming over. Yep, I need four bacon cheeseburger baskets with fries and a cheese pizza. <laughs> You can check out the Off the Husk podcast. Jeez. Well, thanks for watching, everybody.